guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I'm bringing us episode number 21 of Hut Roulette. That is right. Uh, currently, we are on a two game win streak. We're trying to bring it up to a third and fourth one this episode, which means that if we can win this next game, we can buy an 8750 pack for the team, which I'm pretty excited about. And uh, right now, we are in Division 2 with 10 points, so we're pretty close to advancing to Division 1. Uh, we're not that far off from the Division uh, 2 title, so that should be happening very soon in the next episode or so but let's take a look at the team before we get into it uh the two new pickups on our team was ryan kessler that's now on our third line uh center spot as well as mike green who's playing alongside with jack johnson so that's how our team's looking it looks really solid honestly i mean everybody seems kind of in place i did move up gabriel landeskog from the fourth line left wing spot to the third line left wing someone said that gabriel landeskog should be uh more of a he's a really good player so i that's why i did i put him up up to the third line left wing spot and he's now there so anyways let's go ahead into our first game uh logan tour as well sorry gotta mention i did put the plus five all so that means we get two more games with him with a plus five all after this one so let's get into the first game here let's see if we can win all right so we're playing in montreal let's take a look at his team he's got ryan kessler marshawn and patch all right definitely a canadian fan here so let's get this game going uh oh is he playing should I just take a shot on that uh oh, he's not even playing. All right, there we go. The game's starting. So let's get it going. Let's see what we can do. Oh, Vetchin's got it. Go. All right, we're gonna shoot five hole. Five hole. Oh no, couldn't sneak one by. But Ovechkin getting a breakaway just couldn't capitalize on it. No, all right. Ugh. Did not want to give up that first goal, but Marion Gabrick just tucks it in. That was a nice little uh, garbage goal by him. Just couldn't get to it. Okay, so anyways, it's one to nothing. We gotta get that goal back. Oh, what a passing play. Come on, five on three. Pass it on front. King, that's yours. That's in. What? There is no way that didn't go in. You gotta be kidding me. And we're going, oh, okay. Snipe it! Shoot! Ovechkin! Somebody! Oh, man. Such good chances. One more! Oh, man. All right. That's the end of the first period. Lots of good scoring chances. Just couldn't tuck it in. Ten of four in shots. Three minutes time on attack to one minute and 20 seconds. Just a defensive error, and we're down one. So, we gotta play a little bit better defensively. Let's go into the second period. Yes! Nice pass by Patrick Kane. I'm telling you, his setup, like, stat or something is just off the charts. Nice pass to Bergeron, and Bergeron makes no mistake. Backhand, forehand, tucks it in, and we're tied back to one. Alright, good start to the second period. No, no, no. That was bad again. I'm just bringing out my defenders. I'm not playing smart enough. Alright, I think after playing pack squads being in Division 10, I'm just playing too lightly. Alright, anyways, we're down by one once again. He basically answered right back, so we gotta answer right back as well. Yes! Yes! That's what I'm talking about. I was like... Fear, pretty furious that the first shot didn't go in by Bergeron, but Patrick Kane, once again, this first line is on fire. Like, how did that not go in? Oh, God damn it! And then we just poke it in. Jesus, these goals, man. Alright, 2-2. Two two. We answer, like, literally right back. Oh, what a save! Oh, man, I really thought that was going in for a second, but, man, Luongo absolutely bailing us out. Yes! There it is. Wayne Simmons and Tyler Johnson on that penalty kill. And they make no mistake with that passing play. Just getting that cross crease. We finally got the lead in this game. So, anyways, 3-2. to two, Still 10 minutes left in the second. Oh! 
Oh, <laughs> Patrick Kane, man. He just keeps setting up, and Ovechkin makes no mistake on that finish. Once again, like, such a similar goal, only one minute apart. I'm just tearing this guy apart right now. Anyways, still looking good. 4-2 to now. Yes! Rick Nash beating him uh, blocker side this time, and it's lagging up a little bit. I don't know if it's my internet or what's going on, but right now we're leading 5-2. to two. If it doesn't want to be so choppy. Oh, and I guess he quit. I don't know what happened there, but I think that counts as a win. 17 to 13 in shots, 5 minutes time on attack to 3 minutes and 37 seconds. We're absolutely lighting it up. So anyways, we're going to go ahead, uh, buy a pack as well, and raise the buy now minimum to 3k. Choose the 17th player. I'll meet you guys there. Alright, so before we open up the pack, we're going to just show you some of the players that we can pull uh, in the team of the week and st sort of play the games. But right now, there is a Klingberg that is out. There is a Scott Hannon as well. Let's take a look at some of the new team of the weeks. It is Wednesday after 7 p.m. So there's a lot of new guys out like Drew Doughty, Anderson, Sedin, Kessler, whole bunch of guys. So let's go ahead and open up the 8750. Maybe we'll get something good. You never know. All right, so let's get this pack opened up. See what we get. Come on. We haven't gotten one good pack pull yet. Can it be now? Uh, oh, no. No, definitely not. I can't use any of those guys. Uh, Nystrom, Ranta, Michelinie, uh Colorado Avalanche jerseys. Two of them, actually. And a, cha or a capping card. So, I mean, I guess we can change the captain. But, I don't know. Patrick Kane is absolutely just lighting it up. Getting so many assists. Doing so well right now. I think I'm just going to leave him with the captain card. So let's go into the pull now. So we're going to basically put the collection type on players. Uh, put the buy now minimum on 3,000 there. I love this keyboard. It just makes things so much easier. So glad that they, uh, EA did that. Anyways, we're choosing the 17th player here. Let's see what we get. And it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Holy crap. Eric Carlson is going to be the next pickup on our team. That's absolutely crazy. That's going to help out our defenders so much. Let's go ahead and buy him out. Put him onto the team. Damn, guys. That is a really, really good pickup. I don't know. I've been wanting a defenseman for so long on this team. And finally, we got one of the best defensemen in the game. Eric Carlson. I already had one in my collection, so my coin total didn't change. I already knew I had him because I was saving him for one of my trade days, so it kind of worked out that I had him. So anyways, that is how our defensive lineup is looking. I've decided to move Cronwell to the left side. Uh, I want him to play with Carlson. They're both really solid defenders, and now that we have like a like number one a pairing, it makes playing Hot Roulette a lot easier. So that's how it's looking like. I moved Garrison down with Dougie Hamilton, and basically Jack Johnson and uh, Mike Green have not been moved. So anyways, let's get started to the second game here. Let's see if we can continue that streak. Alright, here we go guys. We're facing a Vancouver fan. He's got Gustav Nyquist, Bobby Hull, and uh, Mike Medano on his first line. So we're facing a pretty good team by the looks of it. So let's get this game started. Let's see what we can do. Wow, what a snipe by Bobby Hull. Doesn't even have the helmet on, too. Damn, all right, one to nothing. That was just a nice goal. I thought I would able, be able to take him out with Carlson, but just like that, Mike Medano to Bobby Hull. Yeah, bit too hard with Carlson. Oh, how did he score that? Like, honestly, no space on that side, and he still scored it. Nice snipe, all right, one to nothing. Yes, there is a nice goal. Logan Couture. Forgot to put another plus five on him. I, like, I wish that there was that three game duration, but whatever. Couture to Rick Nash, and we make it one to one. Getting that goal right back, so that's pretty nice to see. I mean, he has a pretty good team, but our team is just as good in my opinion, so we're keeping up. Alright, so end of the first period, guys, and 
it is actually a pretty tough game right now. 7 to 5 in shots, 2 minutes and 24 seconds, time on attack to 2 minutes and 7 seconds. Uh, definitely one of the harder opponents I faced. He definitely knows how to stick handle and shoot the puck, so I gotta be a little bit careful. It's still 1 to 1. We'll see how we do in the second. Oh, Jesus. That could have easily went in. But a uh, nice little poke check. I, I was actually pretty nervous of doing that move. Oh, shoot it. Come on. Uh, Kessler almost getting that uh, rebound chance there. Still got a little bit of pressure, but it's squandered already. All right. Still one-to-one. -one. Let's keep it up. All right. Yep. That was a bad play. I thought it would just go past Pavelski, but it went right to him. That was a bad play to give up that 2-1 lead now. Uh, bad mistake. We got to get that one back. Yes, there it is, Ryan Kessler on the penalty kill. Top right cheese, and we tie it back up 2-2. Two two. Oh man, I haven't been this happy to score a goal in a while. There you go, Lamb Chops 99, that's what I'm talking about. Ryan Kessler unassisted, just doing all the work himself. I saw a little opening, just there was no one after me, so I thought I could drag it out, put up the stick a little bit. There it is, 2-2. Two two. Let's keep it going. Yes, Rick Nash! Right away we score another goal. Man, okay, if there's any player that you guys should pick up, Rick Nash just is an absolute beast. He is so fast on the ice, and for his size too, you can't go wrong with him. That is my recommendation to you guys. One of my favorite players in Hut Roulette so far. Rick Nash, there you go, 3-2. No, and he gets the goal right back. I knew once he was at that spot, getting ready to shoot, it was already done. Nothing I could do about that one. All right, three to three, tied back up. It's a match, guys. All right, guys, so it's going into overtime. Very, very stressful third period. Let's see if we can tuck it home in overtime. Let's take a look at the stats before we get into it. 19 and 15 in shots, 9 minutes time on attack to 5 minutes and 53 seconds, but still, it's a very close game. Just one goal, it can win it for us, so come on, let's see if we can do it. Yes, Eric Carlson, yes. Oh my goodness. I can't believe that Eric Carlson just scored that goal. After we got that pickup, what an impact player for our team. Jesus, I I'm smiling right now, all right? I'm literally smiling because like, out of all players to score, Eric Carlson has to do that. And I didn't even do it that well. It just tucked right through the long goal. Or who was that in that? I don't even know. Robin Lehner? Yeah, Lehner. Oh, all right. We continue that streak, and now we are winning, or now we continue that streak to a four-game win streak, we can, which means we can raise that buy now minimum to 4K, and we're just that much closer back to Division 1. All right, so 22 shots. We're going to go ahead and choose that player. I'll meet you guys there. All right, so everything is set up. That game just went exactly the way I wanted to go. Carlson with a game winner. That's what Hut Roulette's all about. Anyways, we're choosing the 22nd player here. So let's go search up the auction and let's see what we get. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 
22, Connor McDavid. Oh shit, all right. We got the kid himself. We're gonna buy him out, put him onto the team, and see where he fits in. All right, so just gonna wrap up the episode here before we end it off. But as you guys can see, Connor McDavid is now playing on our second line center spot uh, lo alongside with Gabriel Landeskog and Rick Nash. You guys can let me know if that's a pretty good lineup. I really like Rick Nash. I really like Landeskog. I think Connor McDavid will be a pretty nice compliment to those guys on the second line. And on the third line, I did move down Couture and Neil. Uh, Couture, I remembered to put a plus five all on him, so I don't forget for next episode. I also moved down Gustav Nyquist. No, I didn't move him down. He's still on the third line right wing. And on the fourth, uh, we have Ryan Kessler, Blake Wheeler, and Tyler Johnson. I did take out Wayne Simmons. I think it was his time to go, and he wasn't really performing, so I didn't have enough spaces. Unless, maybe you guys have a suggestion on where the lineup should be. You guys can let me know in the comment box below, and maybe I can bring Wayne Simmons back. I don't know. I, I'm not racist or anything. I promise you guys. <laughs> All right. Anyways, that's about it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, leave it a like before you go. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Hopper Life. Bye. <laughs>